So my name is Steve Vivada. I run an engineering company called Scout Engineering and Consulting. It's a firm that focuses on working with Indigenous communities and with businesses that want to improve their uh, outcomes uh, related to projects. Can you tell me how you felt before you signed up for the course? Before I went through the course, I uh, didn't know about the sales cycles. I didn't have a good understanding of uh, uh, sales funnels. So I was basically starting from scratch. Uh, I had a cursory understanding of um, sort of pitching and sales from my years of consulting, but not really a way to scale it up. And uh, so now, yeah, I've obviously got a lot more uh, base knowledge and have a little bit more um, understanding around uh, the sales cycles of my clients. And uh, what's really improved, though, is understanding about how to scale our sales process and start to really generate uh, uh, a lot more revenue without me having to be the only salesperson. Yeah, so uh, my sales process really didn't have any documentation or didn't have a lot of uh, uh, thought put behind it. It was very instinctual and just sort of, I knew my industry. And so what's changed is having a uh, sort of stepwise process that I can bring someone in and tell them, okay, this is, this is how we're managing our clients and our CRM. Uh, this is how we're documenting our different engagements with them, phone calls, meetings. And uh, this is how we are uh, moving from a uh, lead to a uh, verified lead to a sale and then the follow-up. Um, so uh, you know, what's, what's changed is having process, having um, something that I can articulate that's not just instinctual. Yeah, so right away I would say our improvement is um, going from leads to qualifying the leads. I think uh, you know, most of that was just around understanding uh, what it's going to take to qualify the lead and again, putting some process behind it. But um, I would say that um, a combination of the sales training and just my own understanding has probably led to um, doubling the number of qualified leads that we have. Okay. And then um, by having that process, we're in a good spot to uh, start building that where I think this year we're gonna be on track to quadruple. Like from where we were to after the training to over the next year, we'll be on track to quadruple our number of qualified leads and uh, potential clients. So I was able to start using the course uh, content, of course, because I was coming from uh, not having a lot of uh, base knowledge of sales cycles. Uh, so I was able to right away start using that knowledge to uh, change what I was doing. So while I was in the training and then immediately after, probably within the first three months after the training, uh, it was, uh, I would say most of the change had come within that time. So um, you know, that doubling of the leads happened within that three months after. So my advice to anyone taking the course is to um, try and put the time in, uh, do the exercises, do the work, uh, come to the classes with an idea of what you want to get. Um, I think for me, uh, what my struggle was, was uh, particular aspects or understanding um, how to fit certain pieces of the sales. Uh, process into my business. I'm not selling a, um, a one-off service, or sorry, I'm not selling a package of services. I'm selling uh, very bespoke, high-value services. So it requires a lot of uh, developing um, and, and uh, helping the client to understand what they need as well. So uh, that, um, that specific um, requirement uh, can be can be done in the course, but just show up with those specific questions. And Kim and uh, the other staff are great at having answers. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you very much. You've been awesome, and talk to you soon. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you.